Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Barbecue Bourbon and Blues with your host, Khalid Word, and my brother. I am Skip. How y'all doing today? All right, so today we have another fresh episode for you coming down here from beautiful Nashville, Tennessee. It is, uh, the weather's great here. So we just out here, we're going to relax and have a great show today. Today we're going to cover uh, chicken and boudin and, and a pork boudin sausage from one of my chef friends here from New Orleans. His name is Jeremy. Um, I met him several years back. He had some of the best uh, oh boys. Oh boys that I've had anywhere. I don't care if I was in New Orleans or wherever. He had some of the best po' boys ever. Now we're going to check out his cuts of, of uh, boudin sausage, and we're going to get that on the grill. But before we do that, we're going to get into your bourbon tasting as usual. All right, so today we're going to try out this brand new bourbon. It's called Puncher's Chance. Puncher's Chance. All right. Uh, as you can see, it's a fairly new bourbon. Um, it's 45, uh, 45% alcohol volume, which means it's about 90 proof, all right? All right. Um, you know, I was trying to look at it to see if it, you know, anything uh, that's aged over four years normally has an age stamp on it. It just doesn't have any kind of age stamp on it, so therefore it's probably about two years old, okay? All right, all right. Um, the backstory on how we had to get this is um, I was going, uh, we were going to our, uh, to our favorite liquor store to pick up our um, pick up some wellers of course they didn't have any wellers to let them tell it all right so as we were shopping uh, one of the clerks came up and like hey how y'all doing uh -huh. what are you looking for we said man we looking for some wellers do y'all have some he was like yeah and no I think we do but uh, I'm gonna check with the manager then you know he kind of recognized us from doing these YouTube videos he was like wait a minute Y'all like celebrities to me. I watch y'all videos. Yeah, we got one <laughs> bottle left. He said, but you probably gonna have to get it in some kind of combo deal. Okay. All right, so the manager comes out, right? He says, hey, I'll give you this bottle of Wellers if you buy this puncher's chance so we can get it off the shelf. Uh -huh. When he said get it off the shelf, I already started shaking my head. I was like, oh, this got to be, this got to be bad. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, like I had to test to taste it. We are gonna taste it today and see what uh, you see didn't. What... You didn't start on your check earlier this no, week. No, no, we both gonna have to take this loss if it's not good. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's let's see what it is. All right. And uh, uh, thank you to to the to that to that uh viewer that subscriber. Thank you for the for the for the, for hook the hookup up. for the hookup. Yeah, for we the really hookup. appreciate we it. We really do. We really do. All right, so we are gonna get into this. This is actually um distilled and bottled in Bardstown, Kentucky. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know if they actually make it there. I know it is just bottled there. Okay. Um, so let's get into it. Let's do it. Uh, I just got a nice little wood cork. You know, to the nose, you can smell hints of caramel, little vanilla, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. Some little soft notes of oak. All right. Uh -huh. Well, I, I see you brought out some shot glasses just in case you didn't want to. <laughs> nah, I didn't. You didn't want to do the real deal today, huh? Nah, we gonna we gonna we gonna test this out kind of slow. I right, you know, looking at it, it's got a nice little amber color. Um, it's not as dark as some of the other bourbons, which means this is a pretty young bourbon. Um, What's it? What's it called again? It's called Puncher's Chance. Puncher's Chance. Well, yeah, so it may be. It, well, you might just, knock somebody out, or you might not. You know, it might go your way. Yeah, it might not. It's just a chance. We gonna make. We gonna find out if it's a sucker punch today or not. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Puncher's Chance. All right, it's pretty mellow. It goes down. You know, on the palate, you can taste uh, maybe like some dark chocolate. Hints of orange and things of that nature. Uh, other little spices, or maybe like a little bit, a little bit of burnt ash. Now, for me, this isn't something I would, uh, I would drink daily. You no, know, to me, this is something I'll probably sit out to the ones that bring LTD and things like that to the cookout. <laughs> you can't let them. Do, you don't want to give me your top shelf stuff. So, 
handling this right here. <laughs> so if they show up with some LTD, you get the puncher's chance. They can get this puncher's chance. That mean that's gonna really be a fight then. I, I hope you win. Yeah, definitely on our um, chill out or fight meter. This is definitely one of those fighting uh, fighting browns. Like if you you can't drink this. This mixed on a ninety to a hundred degree day. Yeah. Somebody step on your shoes or, or say something wrong oh, to you. Oh, it's, it's on fire. Okay. All yeah, right. But um, other than that, it's price to move if your pocket's not right. <laughs> but if you can afford to go up maybe five or six more dollars, you can maybe get some wild turkey or um, wild turkey or maybe some um, larceny. You know, I, you know that's what I would actually do on that. Hey man, you just stepped on my foot. Man, you don't want to. You don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to. You even watch yourself. See the sucker punch. That's what I'm. That's what we talking about. All right, all right, man. That's that's pretty. It, it, yeah, yeah. It's mellow, it's but mellow. you know, it's nothing. That, yeah, I, it's not. I don't. It's not. Only thing favorite. I would pair with this is a black and mild, far cigar smoker. Oh well, you know we got plenty of them. <laughs> yeah, we got plenty of them. All right, now we're gonna get into this boudin sausage right here. All right, we're about to get these on the grill. All right, so I got some chicken boudin and I have a pork boudin sausage here, straight from my own boy Jeremy, Bree J's Cajun Cuisine. As soon as you have a chance, you need to hit him up, and take advantage song. of his his meats. Uh, buy them, buy them all. They're all good. Take advantage of uh, when he's out. Catch his po' boys. Catch his meats. You will not go wrong. All right? I'll see you at the, sm at the smoker in a few minutes. Catch you in a second. Barbecue bourbon and blues. All right, here we go again. Back at barbecue bourbon and blues. We're down here at the Master Built 1050 as usual. But you can do this on any grill or smoker, all right? If you're doing it on a grill, you want to set your, your, uh, your grill up for for two stage cooking, all right? So you wanna have a heat side and a, a side that's indirect heat, okay? So we're gonna get these on rolling at 300, and uh, 325 degrees on the master built. We're gonna start over here. I, I use, I'm gonna start over here on the far side because this is the not as hot side over here. And then we'll move it closer and crisp up the casing on these boudin sausages and make it way to have a nice little snap, all right? So I'm gonna get these boudin sausages on here. All right, and I'm gonna get this one on. We gonna roll these probably for about 45 minutes and then we'll start moving them over towards that to the the hot side of the smoker and crisp up that casing real good, all right? So make sure you get your uh, your friends and family to subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the videos and let us know what y'all want to see us do whenever you get a chance, all right? We'll catch you back in a few minutes. Barbecue bourbon and blues with the word brothers. See y'all later. All right, welcome back to Barbecue Bourbon and Blues. We're getting back to the Boudin sausage. These have been sitting at 325 for about 435 minutes or so. Now we're gonna start moving them closer to kind of crisp up that, to crisp up the casing and get it going. Now this is part of what I call our tailgate series where you can do different things other than just hot dogs and chili and, and uh, burgers and things of that nature, okay? So today we're doing boudin sausage by our homeboy Jeremy, or Bree J's as we call them. I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna get them closer to the to the hottest part of the grill, start crisping this skin up, okay? So I'm about to lift this up. Come on in here, man. Let us see what we got going. All right, as you can see, I flipped them once already. Now I'm gonna get them over here. And I'm using, as you can see, I'm using the soft tones today because you do not want to poke holes in these, okay? So I'm going to get them and I'm going to 
put them right over here next to where the hottest part of the grill is, okay? And I'm gonna just take this one and I'm gonna kind of slide it over a little bit. And there you go. These are looking beautiful, okay? Um, boudin sausage is delicious. I don't know if y'all know or not, but this is uh, this is a New Orleans thing. So if when you go to New Orleans, make sure you get some. It is excellent. And thank you, Bree J or Jeremy, for getting us these. We're gonna get them off the grill, plate them up, and eat them. I know they're delicious because everything you make is delicious, bro. So. Like I said before, make sure, you, make sure you subscribe and like the channel and comment. Let us know, you know, good, bad, indifferent. Let us know what you think. And we're going to have some giveaways soon. We'll be talking about that a little later. But we'll be back to you. All right. So we're going to let these roll for probably about another 10, 15 minutes maybe. Get that, get that case and that skin real crispy crisped up and we'll be back to you shortly thank you for tuning in barbecue bourbon and blues with the word brothers all right welcome back to barbecue bourbon and blues we're getting back to the boudin sausage these have been sitting at 325 for about 435 minutes or so now we're gonna start moving them closer to kind of crisp up that crisp up the casing and get it going now this is part of what I call our tailgate series where you can do different things other than just hot dogs and chili and, and uh, burgers and things of that nature, okay? So today we're doing boudin sausage by our homeboy Jeremy or Bree J's as we call them. I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna get them closer to the, to the hottest part of the grill, start crisping this skin up, okay? So about to lift this up come on in here man let us see what we got going all right as you can see i flipped them once already now i'm gonna get them over here and i'm using as you can see i'm using the soft tones today because you do not want to poke holes in these okay so i'm gonna get them and i'm gonna put them right over here next to where the hottest part of the grill is okay just take this one and I'm gonna kind of slide it over a little bit. And there you go. These are looking beautiful, okay? Um, boudin sausage is delicious. I don't know if y'all know or not, but this is, uh, this is a New Orleans thing. So when you go to New Orleans, make sure you get some. It is excellent. And thank you, Bree J or Jeremy, for getting us these. We're gonna get them off the grill, plate them up, and eat them. I know they're delicious because everything you make is delicious, bro. So, like I said before, make sure, you, make sure you subscribe and like the channel and comment. Let us know, you know, good, bad, indifferent. Let us know what you think. And we're gonna have some giveaways soon. We'll be talking about that a little later but we'll be back to you, all right? So we're gonna let these roll for probably about another 10, 15 minutes maybe. Get that get that case and that skin real crisp, crisped up, and we'll be back to you shortly. Thank you for tuning in. Barbecue Bourbon and Blues with the Word Brothers. All right, welcome back to Barbecue Bourbon and Blues. Let's just recap what we've done today. We took our boudin sausage, we got it on the smoker at 325, on about in the middle where to cook evenly, okay? As the cook went, we got about 30 to 45 minutes, I think we got about 40 minutes in, and we moved it over closer to the hotter side of the smoker, and we crisped up, crisped up the, uh, the casing, okay? Now we're about to get these off of here, all right? See how those look? All right, they looking delicious. You don't want to, you got to wait until these casings get a little, little crispy because if you don't, you'll bust it open and that all that deliciousness on the inside, the rice and stuff will fall out. So
so you don't want to tear that up, okay? So you got to be real careful with these. So now that we got these off, now that we got these off, we're about to get them inside, let them rest for a few minutes, get them plated up with some rice, and we'll be right back to you. Barbecue bourbon and blues with the Word Brothers, Boudin Sausages by Chef Jeremy Brigades. Check them out. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. No matter if it's Boudin or Po Boys or whatever he's cooking, it's going to be delicious. You can, I'll put his contact information below. You can reach out to him, get what you need. Catch you in a few minutes, Barbecue Bourbon and Blues with the word, brothers. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> All right, we're back with barbecue bourbon and blues. We got our boudin plated up with a little rice, all right? I've cut one and a half. We're about to cut it, uh, taste it a little bit, okay? All right, there you go. Got this one cut in half. You can set that down, Skip. Got this one cut in half. Little chicken boudin. Thank you, Jeremy. Mmm. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Make sure you get out and contact Jeremy Williams. Get you some boudin sausage. He has chicken, pork, pot roast. Uh, I think he has uh, shrimp, chicken and shrimp boudin. I'm going to put everything in the comments below. His contact information. His contact information so you can reach out to him and take advantage of his meats. And whenever you see his food truck out, make sure you stop. Get you some po' boys, get you some boudin, some gumbo, uh, etouffee, everything. everything, anything. Get it. It is delicious. Make sure you get out there and get it, all right? We'll catch you back on the next episode, Barbecue Bourbon and Blues with the word brothers again make sure you subscribe comment like share the channel and we'll see you soon with another episode peace good